Hello, I am Solesh Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The ePoll is brought to you by the Labry Cooperative Credit Union. We're here for beginnings, endings, and everything in between. For the startups, the slow starts, for the early risers, and the end of day finishers. For the career jugglers, high flyers, and for everyone who's ever had a goal or chased a goal, it's why we're here. Here to help you plan, track, and execute your goals so you can own a better tomorrow. Labry Cooperative Credit Union, one member and one goal at a time. Call us today, telephone 459-6900. Labry Cooperative Credit Union. We are not a bank. We are better. There has been another incident at the Body Lake Correctional Facility, which claimed the life of an inmate, the third death at the prison in the space of two weeks. The incident happened on Wednesday morning. Though the details on what is being described as an explosion in the BCF Stiller shop are sketchy, Tension is said to be high at the facility, as wardens focus on keeping rival gangs at the prison apart. So, we ask, should there be a review of the operations of the Bodily Correctional Facility? We tally the numbers on our voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 56% said yes, 11% said no, 11% had no comment, and 22% did not know. We also took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. Yes, they should revise it because, first and foremost, the prison is overpopulated. And I think they should relieve, release some of the inmates that has been there for like minor offensive, offenses. And also, um, they need to work on the security system. They need to um, hire more um, officers in order to help with the crime that's going on inside of there. I think they really, really have to review that situation because Baudelaire has a lot of corruption both in and out. And the authorities, they need to employ more guards, more security, tougher laws, tougher restrictions. Baudelaire is a bit too loose. That is why all of these things are happening in Baudelaire. Oh, right now they have to free the youths because right now they have useless violence. So more you all decrease it, more it will be better for you all. So let me do something and free up the youths. For, 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 for arresting them for a little smith. Because you all that talk about decriminalize, so right now it's it legalized for the youths, so free them up, man, and, and, and the jail will be more free, man. As you about all of them, the overcrowd, number one. And you don't have to say you're frustrated because Question pas qu'à couiller depuis jour de l'anti minor question ni pour ti oui Dieu je n'y ai un petit 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 problème avec yo just là so c'est mon ami pour révolter because yo vous êtes sorti là ça pas c'est pas ça pas caillou et yo vous êtes plus warden ça dit dans là la panacé pour gardio là vous êtes plus warden et puis next night il y a bot lot monsieur avec qui petit maman là qui brûler là si la tête anti côté pour ça exit les blas là pour te ça couille à rien yad là il va dégager brûler yeah, I feel the, we need more um, prison officers at Borderley. Um, the place is overcrowded. There is guys who's on remand for so long they, for petty crimes. We need to do something about that. Yeah, so we need to revisit this and do something about Borderley. The situation at Borderley is a sad one. And yes, we are very sad to know that the youths are there for a little joint and what have you. But it is the law and we have to maintain and keep the law. The situation at Bodile did not start at Bodile. It started in the homes because we just have social chaos. Because nobody wants to take responsibility to do what is right. We're not even upholding the law. So we cannot now just lose them. But I think there can be a little relief if they try and hire more people so that they can help with the situation. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The Medical and Dental Council of St. Lucia has summoned Dr. Gilberta St. Rose to a disciplinary hearing to answer to some serious allegations. 
Dr. St. Rose, one of the main proponents of the use of the anti-parasitic drug ivermectin for the prevention and cure of COVID-19, is accused of prescribing and promoting the drug despite the express disapproval of the chief medical officer. She is also accused of conducting a clinical trial without proper authorization or monitoring. In her defense, Dr. Senrose says she has been prescribing ivermectin in her professional capacity as a doctor to save lives. If found guilty, Dr. Senrose could have her license suspended or revoked. So we ask, do you support the decision of the Medical and Dental Council to hold a disciplinary hearing to have Dr. Senrose respond to the allegations against her? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsenusha.org or Facebook at HTS Senusha Official and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.